Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to make stomp photo logo reveal animation. So let's have a look. Here I have already imported the files required for this project. To make this animation. You need, 8 media files, you can use image as well as video. Light leaks. Your logo. And the music file. You can download light leaks and music file from below link in the description. So now let's start creating our animation. Create a new composition. Name it as Media 1. Now for media composition, set the time duration to 1 second. In this composition, you can add your image or video file. Here I will add the image file, which I have already imported. Now we need to create another composition. Name it as Slide 1. Also for slide 1 make sure the time duration is set to 1 second. Now in this composition, we need to add our media 1 composition to the timeline. Now let's add our text. Align the text to center. Now let's animate our text. Now go to Animate, select Tracking. Make sure you're at the start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for offset. Change offset value to minus 100. Now go at 20 frames. Change offset value to 100. Now in Advanced. Change the shape to Ramp Up. Now adjust the easy flow to 50%. Now for animator 1. Let's add the position. Now adjust the position value for the Y axis, set it to minimum 500. For animator 1, add the opacity. Change opacity value to 0. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. If you want you can also increase the font size. Now let's change the media composition and text layer to 3D. Now create a new camera layer. Now go to transform. Change the position for Z axis to minus 650. Now go to camera options. Change the zoom value to 650. Change focus distance to 620. Change aperture value to 7. Now create an null object. Change it to 3D. Let's parent the camera to the null object. Now come back to start of the timeline. Press P to bring up the position. Let's create a keyframe for position. Now change position value for Z axis to 450. Now go at 7 frames. Change position value to 300. Now go at end of the timeline. Change position value to 0. Now select all created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown.
Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and presets search for CC lens. Add it to the adjustment layer. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for size. Change size to 170. Now go to the end of the timeline. Change size to 250. Now let's preview it. Perfect. Now similarly create 6 more slides. Here I will fast forward it. Till I complete creating 6 more slides. You can like this video, you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. You can see here I have created 6 more slides. I have also changed the text for each slide. Now let's create our 8th and the last slide, which is for our logo. First let's create a new composition for media 8. Set the time duration to 2 seconds. Now add the media file to timeline. Now create another composition, name it as slide 8. Now add the media 8 composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset search for fast blur. Add it to the media file. Change the blurriness to 50%. Select the repeat edge pixel. Now let's add our logo. You can scale your logo if needed. Now we need to pre-compose our logo. Name it as the logo. I have already copied the adjustment layer, null object, camera layer, and text layer. I will just add it to this composition. Now stretch them. Here I will change the text. Now position the text below the logo. Now change the media and logo composition to 3D. Now create a new composition. Name it as final. Set the time duration to 9 seconds. Now here we need to add all the slides we have created. Let's add them all. Now position them one after the other, as shown. Now add the pre-rendered light leaks media file to the timeline. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as light leaks. Now for light leaks composition change the mode to add. 
Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset search for levels. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now change the input black value to 3. Input white value to 225. Now create another adjustment layer. In effects and preset search for sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change sharpen amount to 20. Now search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Change vibrance value to 75. Change saturation to 15. Now again create the adjustment layer. Now select the ellipse tool. Draw mask as shown. Change mask mode to subtract. Change mask feather value to 300. Now in effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now create a new composition. Let's name it as Render. Now add the final composition to the timeline. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as the frame. Now draw mask as shown. Change mode to subtract. Now add the music file to the timeline. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as music. Now let's preview it. Here our logo animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.